All right, here's a video that no one asked for, but I'm going to deliver on it anyway. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you these four essential cartoon graphics that put together this really awesome scene. So if you're in the market to create something that's colorful and it has just a nice touch of pop to it, let's jump in and let's get started. All right, we have multiple elements that we have to break down in this video. As always, you can download the project files if you wish to follow along. The very first thing we're gonna create is the text, which is multiple components of the text. Very easy to do though. So the first thing we'll do is grab our textile tool and type out our text. So I'll be using a two line text here, but one thing I wanna do is adjust the leading where the text is overlapping each other. Then I wanna click on the stroke color icon right here and set it to black. And I can change the stroke width here to five. And now you'll see that we have the stroke on top of our title. And I'm using the font Luckiest Guy, which is a pretty cool cartoon font. Another thing I wanna do is arc our text. To do this, we'll grab the pen tool and I'll click a point down here towards the bottom part of our composition and come here to the center of our comp, click a point and hold down shift to draw out a curve and just click to the other side so we have this nice arc like this. So then what I can do is open the title layer, go to text, go to path options and set it to our mask. And now this will help arc the text and that's gonna look great. And I'm gonna change the color of my title to maybe like a nice blue like this. So now that our basic title design is ready to go, I'm gonna animate this right now. We'll open up our title layer, go to animate and add a scale. Set the scale to 0%, open the range selector, add a keyframe for start, move forward in your timeline to maybe like two seconds and set up to 100%. And this will animate each letter in at a time. And I'll select both keyframes, make them easy ease by hitting F9 on my keyboard. All right, then I'm gonna grab my title layer and go to layer pre-compose, we'll call it text placeholder and then click okay. And then I'm gonna make this appear 3D. So to do this, I'm gonna go to effect perspective and grab a drop shadow real fast. I'm gonna change the direction to about hundred degrees and set the opacity to hundred percent and then increase the distance to about 40. And this will give it a fake 3D look. And one thing I wanna do is actually give our title a gradient. To do this, I'll go back into the previous composition and I'll go to layer new adjustment layer and I'll go to effect generate and I'll grab a gradient ramp. And then I'll set the blend mode of this adjustment layer to darken. And then I'll swap the colors and this will give us a gradient on our title. And then we can adjust the anchor points of the gradient ramp to adjust the brightness. And then we go back to our previous comp, everything's updated. We'll take our text placeholder and we'll go to layer pre-compose. We'll call this 3D text, move all attributes, click okay. Then we'll go to layer, layer styles, and we'll add a stroke. Then we can open the stroke and set the size to 10. Then we take this layer, Go to edit duplicate, change the color to white on the bottom and the stroke size to 25. And now that we're done, we'll take both these layers and do one more pre-compose and we'll call it text final. And now we have a very subtle cartoon text animation. Before we move further into the video, creating animations and edits from scratch can be absolutely time consuming. That's why we've developed over 20,000 templates for Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro. With our Motion Duck extension, you can preview and apply templates with the click of a button. Then you can easily edit everything within the template to fit your project. So instead of spending hours on something that can take minutes, be sure to check out our templates with the link in the description below. You can also download our free 100 template pack as well. And now back to the video. So next up, we need to talk about how to apply these appealing graphics to really just make our project stand out. So first things first, you can find graphics like this on freepix.com. I will link this in the description below so you can search up whatever assets you're looking to do. I just typed in, you know, cartoon graphics and I found this and I was able to download it for free. And then within that download, you're gonna get like an EPS file or a .ai file. Open either one of those in Adobe Illustrator. When Illustrator opens up, all we need to do is isolate some of these graphics by itself so then we can easily import it into After Effects. So for example, I can just come here, click and drag and select an asset here. And then I can simply just copy it on my keyboard Go to File, New, and I'll type in 1080 by 1080 and click OK. And then I'll just go ahead and paste this in here and hold down Alt on keyboard and Shift, and this will allow me to drag this up to be a little bit larger. And I can usually go through the layers here. So go to Layers and open the group, go through this, and you'll be able to figure out, you know, what is what. I don't want this title, so I'll click on this trash can icon and I'll delete the title. Uh, even further, I can delete other assets that I don't want, so I can go ahead and select these lines down here and delete those. But when you're happy with your graphic, just go to File, Save As, and save it as an Illustrator file. And you can do this with other graphics as well, so you have more to work with in your project. So I'll go ahead and import my two graphics into my After Effects project. I can bring them into my timeline. I'll work with the cloud for now, but then I can come here, move it around, hit S my keyboard for scale, scale it down. Then I can animate this in very easily by adding keyframe for the scale, moving this forward in time, setting the scale to 0%. And then right before that, final keyframe, I'll go ahead and set the scale to about 80%. So what's happening here is gonna create a bounce animation. And then I'll make the first and last keyframes 
easy ease by hitting F9 on my keyboard, go in the graph editor, and just smoothing out the back end of this animation here, just like this. So now we have this cloud animating in, and one thing I wanna do is quickly go to Effect, Distort, and grab Transform, and I wanna create a consistent bouncing animation. So to do this, I'm gonna add a keyframe for scale, move forward in my timeline, and set the scale up to maybe 120. Then I'm gonna Alt click the stopwatch, then I'll type in loop out with a capital O, open parenthesis, quotations, ping pong, followed by quotations and a close parenthesis. So what's gonna happen is that forever this cloud will be bouncing and at least it'll be doing something. So now this is all set up, all I need to do is take this layer, go to edit, duplicate, move it around my composition randomly, duplicate it, and just do this a few times. I'll put this underneath my title, then I can copy the scale animation that we just did, apply it to the explode graphic, and then also copy the transform and paste it to the explode graphic. And then I'll do the same exact thing by duplicating the explode graphic. And then one thing I just need to do is just offset our layers in our timeline so they don't come in at the same exact moment. So now we're starting to put together a nice cartoon scene with our titles and our graphics. So our background is pretty dull. So for our third technique, I wanna show you how you can easily create some speed lines to make your background a little bit more interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and hide everything for a second and we're gonna grab our pen tool. I'm gonna click on this crosshair icon to bring up the title saves. And from the center of our composition, I'm gonna click a point and I'm gonna come here to the outside of our comp, hold down shift, click that next point so that straight line and then close this up. So we're creating a very thin triangle. But then I wanna open up our shape layer, go to add and I'm gonna add a repeater. We'll open up repeater one, we'll go to transform repeater one. We'll set this X position to zero and then we'll increase the rotation here by a little bit. Then we'll increase the number of copies and just continue to increase that rotation so we don't have so many of them. And I don't want this going to the center of the composition now so I'll click on the word path and I'll click that first point and I'll move it over just like this. So now to animate this, I will come here to add and add a wiggle transform. We'll open up Wiggle Transform, and we can set our wiggles per second up to maybe 13. Go to the Transform tab right here, and we'll increase the scale and the rotation. So now we officially have created speed lines, and now that helps add a lot more detail to our scene fairly quick. And the last thing I wanna do that will tie everything together is this opening transition, which is super easy to do. All I'm gonna do is go to Layer, New, Solid, make sure the color set to black, click OK. We'll go to Effect, Transition, and we're gonna grab a rare effect, CC Radial Scale Wipe. I don't think I've ever used this in a video before, but what you can do is add a keyframe for completion, move forward in your timeline, maybe a half second, and set the completion up to 100% or whatever, it doesn't matter. And then we'll hit your keyboard, select both keyframes, F9, and now with all of our techniques put together, we have this really awesome cartoon graphic scene here inside of After Effects. As always, if you're new here, please be sure to hit that subscribe button as we post multiple After Effects videos every single week, and always be creative.